Good day class! Welcome to our online class. It's me, Teacher Edson, your teacher in this session. Okay now, before we start, I would like to assure that you're already in your comfortable place so you can focus on our topic that we are going to discuss this day. So class, in checking our attendance, you just need to like this video so I could know that you already watch our lesson this day. For today's lesson, I'll be discussing behavior of light. You may have experienced creating the shape of some objects by projecting shadows in your hands on a wall. You usually do this with a lighted candle as your light source. A shadow is formed when you block the path of light. Light does not bend around corners, so whenever an object blocks some of the light, a shadow is created. This shows that light travels in a straight path. Although light follows a straight path from its source, it can be slowed down and scattered by object placed in its path. You see rays of sunlight streaming through a window on a sunny day because some of light is scattered by dust particles in the air. You can see a ray of light when it strikes the eye directly. Then it forms an image of an object from which it has come, either a light source itself or something from which it has been reflected, such as a flower or your pet dog. Now, let's proceed to transmission of light. Light can pass through, bounce off, or absorb by matter. Light easily passes through air. It can pass through glass and water. Matter that transmits most of light that strikes is said to be transparent. And transparent materials allow light to pass through so you can clearly see objects through them. Other materials like frosted glass allow some light to pass through but you cannot clearly see objects through them. These materials are what we call translucent. Matter that reflects or absorbs but does not transmit light, it is said to be opaque. Most solid are opaque. You cannot see through them. Now, let's proceed to the speed of light. Light travel with a speed of about 300 million meter per second or about 186,000 miles per second in a vacuum. At this amazing speed, light from the sun takes only 8 minutes to travel to earth. Nothing travels faster than the speed of light. When light passes through a medium, it travels more slowly. The speed of light varies depending on the medium through which it passes. In air, light travels about 99% of its speed in the space. In water, light slows down to about 225 million meter per second and through the glass. The speed of light decreases to about 196 million meter per second. So here is the table that shows the speed of light in a different mediums. Now let's proceed to intensity of light. Probably you have noticed that light appears to be brighter when you are close to it and dimmer when you were, are farther away. It is because the brightness of light depends on how far you are from the source. The particle nature of light explains the brightness or intensity of the light changes with distance. This figure shows what happened to the intensity of light as it moves away from a light source. Particles of light travel in a straight line from a light source. At the source, all particles of light are closer together. Since the intensity of light is related to the number of photons, Light is brighter when you are closer to source. As the distance from the source of the light increases, light spread out and becomes dimmer. The quantity that measures the amount of light illuminating a surface is called intensity. The intensity of light depends upon the amount of light or the number of photons that passes a certain area or space. In your house, you usually control the intensity, color in the area of spreading of light in order to get the effect you want. For example, bright lamps for reading are placed on your study table but dim light is used in a bedroom. 
what other places or area in your house need a bright light source? So comment down below your answers. So that's all for today. Hope you have learned something from it. Thank you.